All right, welcome back to the show. Now, we're all familiar with the Vail Veterans Program, and if you're not familiar with it, then you've been living under a rock for a long time. It really is an amazing program for veterans, bringing veterans and their families to the mountains to experience um, um, things that we do around here and to reconnect. Joining me now, I've got Becca Alaber. How Hi. are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm great. And you're yeah. with the Vail Veterans Program. <laughs> yes, nice to I see am. you. Nice to see you. Um, obviously, I mean, I'm very familiar with the program. But let's let everybody know first what it's all about. Okay. Um, so the Vail Veterans Program empowers veterans and their families, wounded veterans and their families, through bringing them to Vail um, for a whole bunch of different outdoor activities and reconnecting time. Um, and, yeah. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the veterans that come to the programs are fresh out of the hospitals. I mean, really, this is their first... Um, exposure back into everyday life once they've right. been, you know, getting their treatment. Yep, so we work directly with three military hospitals, Walter Reed, Brook Army Medical Center, and Naval Medical Center. And so, as you said, many of the veterans, it's their first time um, kind of reintegrating back into um, just day-to-day -day when they come to Vail Veterans Program. And the programming you have, now we're all familiar with the programming in the wintertime. You guys do a lot of different things for families and for the veterans. Summertime, they're out here also with their families. I've taken mm -hmm. veterans fly fishing before. Yeah. And then you also have one other big event coming up, which is gonna kind of wrap up your summer programming as yeah. you make way mm -hmm. for the winter. Tell us about that one. So we have our caregivers program. Um, this is the second annual caregivers program. So it started last year. Um, it was just so great. Um, we bring 14 caregivers of wounded veterans, and yeah, you can see the photos, um, to Vail for three days for a long weekend, and we encourage them to just build bonds with each other. Um, we do, there's some seminars, they go out and they're, they're going to go zip lining at Zip Adventures, um, oh, go fun. bowling at Bowl, they have a whole whole bunch of cool activities. So and it's then really we're also going to put them on the stage at Oktoberfest. Yes, so they will be there. Friday night. Friday night, six o'clock, opening ceremony. Um, they get up there; they have a lot of fun with it. So, and then all, all the yeah. proceeds for Vail Oktoberfest go to the Vail Veterans Program. Correct. Too. So, yeah. really, it's a great fit. I mean, Oktoberfest is fun, a little wild and crazy, but yeah. really, in the end result, it's all for the programming for the Vail Veterans Program. Right. No, it's great. It's been a pleasure to work with them, and Oktoberfest is really fun. I was there last <laughs> I weekend, so I encourage everyone to go out. And then, yeah. another neat piece of the Veterans Program, you have. Um, an ambassador now who was a veteran who went through your programming who has been down in Rio for the Paralympic Games. Tell Correct. us about her. Yeah, so Melissa Stockwell, she's an alumni of our program. She's actually one of our ambassadors now. Um, and she competed on the 11th last Sunday in the paratriathlon and she won a bronze medal. And so we're really excited for her. Um, and it was very cool. The Americans actually swept the podium. Um, so go Team USA. That's really awesome. Yep, and it's the first time that paratriathlon was in the Paralympics. So it's very exciting. That's so exciting. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the programming continues. And I know you guys are already looking forward to the wintertime. Oh, yeah. Lots setting up all that because you're uh -huh. always looking ahead and making yes. these new plans. And we're going to introduce a lot more new veterans to the Vail Valley and all the Correct. great things that we have to offer. And yep. And uh, so, really, it's just about thanking you guys for all you do. Cheryl Jensen is a huge fan of mine, and I mean, I'm a huge fan of hers. Yeah. She's not a huge yeah, fan yeah. of mine. <laughs> I got you. Becca, yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Yep. And the website, more people want to, f people want to find out more, veilveteransprogram.org. Vail. Correct. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. We've got Candy's got a look at your weather report coming up next, and so much more on the show. We'll be right back.